In this video, we'll go over navigating the course page of your Open Learning class and the resources available. There are a few ways to access the course page. One option is by clicking on the Browse This Course button on the dashboard and selecting an option from the table of contents by clicking the Go button as this will automatically navigate you to the course page. When you launch into the program, it will also show you the last selection you were on. This provides you with the open button that quickly navigates you to the course page. For more information about navigating the dashboard, refer to the Open Learning Platform dashboard resources. Another option is to select course from the navigation menu to navigate directly to the course page. Click on the Browse This Course button from the dashboard or the course page to open the table of contents. The full page table of contents allows you to easily navigate between chapters, topics, modules, and lessons. Click on an option from the left-hand navigation panel and then click the Go button to the right of the page you want to navigate to. Once you have selected an option from the table of contents, you will then have access to the course panel on the left of the page that allows you to easily navigate between the different sections available and the blades within those sections. The lesson resources are divided into sections that correspond with your teacher edition. Keep in mind that the available resource sections will vary based on the program being used. Click on the arrows to the right of each resource blade to expand the section and view the resources available. You can also click on the Expand All, Collapse All button to open and close all the blades at one time. When you select a blade option under a lesson in the course panel, your course page will only show the blade selected and any resources available within that blade. To switch back to being able to view all the blades at once on the course page, you'll want to select the chapter or lesson in the course panel. You also have the option to filter the resources by clicking on the Filter option to the right of the page. The filters allow you to condense the available resources down by select options. To apply the resource filter option, check the box next to the selection and then click the apply button at the bottom. If you navigate away from the course page, you will need to reselect the filters. Also, filtering the available resources does not add or remove them from the presentation. Type keywords into the search bar or click on the magnifying glass at the top right of the course page to access all of the course resources available for the program. To launch the presentation for the selected chapter or lesson, click the Present button. This will open the presentation player in the same browser screen. Click the Edit Presentation button to make changes to the presentation. Additionally, there is the ability to add or remove the resource from the presentation by using the presentation toggle on the resource tile. For a guide on navigating the presentation player, refer to the Open Learning Platform Presentation Player Resources. Click on the Options icon at the top right of the page to access additional features such as Student Preview, Add to Calendar, and Sync Presentation. Click the Student Preview option from the menu to be able to see what your students would see when they access their course. This is a preview only, so you will not be able to access links or resources through the Student Preview. To add the selected course page to your calendar, click the Add to Calendar option from the menu. When you add the lesson to the calendar, it will show the scheduled dates in the lesson header. For more information about the calendar, refer to the Open Learning Platform Teacher Calendar Resources. If you made changes to the presentation and would like to sync the changes to additional classes, you can use the Sync Presentation option. For more information on using Sync Presentation, refer to the Open Learning Platform Presentation Player Resources. There are a few ways to create an assignment for students from the course page as well. One option is to assign each resource one at a time by clicking the Assign button on the resource tile. This will open the Individual Assignment Settings page where you can select the date range, enter the point value, and select the students you want to assign the resource to. Another option is the Bulk Assign feature. To access the Bulk Assign, click the Assign button to the right of the page. This allows you to select multiple resources at once to assign to students. To do so, check the box next to all the resources you would like to assign and click the Continue button at the bottom. This will navigate you to the Bulk Assignment Settings page where you can enter in the date range, point value, and select the students for each selected resource as a group or individually. The due date for each assignment will show on the associated resource tile as well as in the calendar. For more information on creating assignments, refer to the available Open Learning Platform Assignment Management resources. For resources that have been assigned, clicking on the Options menu to the right of the resource tile allows you to unassign the assignment or view results. There is also a Notes option available for some resources. 
The notes will open in a side panel and provide additional information and assistance for the resource, including the objective of the resource and the recommended use. The Options menu will not be available for all resources, and the menu will vary based on the resource. This concludes our look at navigating your class course page. Be sure to look at the other available help materials for more information about using your open learning programs.